What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, we'll be taking a look at Lamar Woodley. Um, fantastic uh, pass rusher for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I know for a while he actually had the all-time sack record for the Steelers um, in the playoffs. I think James Harrison ended up taking that right before he left. Um, don't quote me, though. Um, also, I I'm not going to be looking at all 21 sacks here. Um, I'll be here all night if that was the case. Um, but what I am going to do, this looks like it's from about 2011. Um, I'm going to be watching these. So, yeah, let's do that. This would have been more so when Lamar Woodley in this Steelers defense was in its prime. Right over here, 56. Love Lamar Woodley. I've never actually officially watched film on him. I've only ever seen him playing. Just live. Oh, that was just good. <laughs> I don't know if y'all caught that. That was dirty. Watch Casey Hampton. Right here. That's hilarious. So they're running kind of like a stunt, and Lamar Woodley is coming free here. But <laughs> this is great. Watch, watch Casey Hampton here. He's like starting to fall. So you can kind of see Casey Hampton pulling this dude's foot. That was oh no no that wasn't uh, Casey Hampton. I'm sorry. Uh, but still, that's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't mean to detract from him sacking Brady, but that was just funny to me. But you you could clearly see it. Wow. Remind me who 96 was. Wasn't that... um? Ah, damn, what's his name? He just played in uh, Miami a year or two ago. Like, la signed him like... Ziggy Hood? Was that Ziggy Hood? It might have been. Let it run. Could not remember his name. Haven't thought about Ziggy Hood in a while, so... Uh, let me kind of do this real quick so I can get context as to where he is because he's not in the basic lineup okay so he is on the his normal side he's just not on screen right now okay oh no he was I'm sorry it's kind of blurry I'm going to let that be my excuse. So right there, he put his right hand right inside that the offensive lineman's chest. Not really liking that stance. He's The offensive lineman's a little high there, but uh, whatever. But he's got his, his right hand right on his chest. This allows him to keep his distance. He's got pretty decent bend for a guy his size. Um, and he's kind of just going to defeat that outside hand and go clean up Brady. Well, that was a good hit, too. Arizona. Okay, cool. Um, Hands inside. Fantastic. I'll get back to that in a sec. That's awesome. Um, was that Kevin Cobb at quarterback? Um, but... Pretty good play design here. A lot of deception. 
Uh, Troy Polamalu was more in the box before, but um, he kind of backed off as James Ferrier came over. Originally, it was looking like Woodley was going to go toward the tackle, but now Ferrier is lined up against the tackle, so he's going toward the right guard. Uh, good play design. Dick LeBeau was fantastic. Um, but immediately gets his hands right inside. That's I, I love it. That's that's perfect for Lamar Woodley. Um, that's where your power is. That's where your that's where your control is. And this allows him to disengage quickly. I don't know where the, I don't know what the guard's looking at. He's looking this direction. Kind of ends up getting himself lost. I don't know what he was doing. But uh, Lamar Woodley took advantage. Could be that the guard was confused by Dick LeBeau's blitzing scheme, so that's a real possibility. Not sure who that right guard was. This was 2011, man, and I don't follow the Cardinals that closely, especially back then. The Cardinals were terrible. Uh, who was this um, running back? Something Bell, right? No. Beanie Wells. That's what it. Is. That's who it is. Okay, cool. Uh, Lamar Woodley's on a tight end. Oh, that's not great play design. <laughs> you want to... Your play design is to have Kevin Cobb run to the right, even though you're going to try to block Lamar Woodley with a tight end. Ugh, I don't know about that, man. Or if you're going to do that, if if you're gonna do this type of play, have Kevin Cobb keep running. Like ha have him run the whole circle and get past Lamar Woodley, because then, like if Kevin Cobb was over here, that tight end could just kind of stay in Lamar Woodley's way, just kind of keep his body in the way, and keep using Lamar Woodley's momentum, keep him going this direction. Then maybe that would have been a little bit better, but. Mm. That's rough. Oof. I appreciate that this is Baltimore. Those rivalry games are fun, but, man, this footage is rough. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not Baltimore. That's Jacksonville. I am sorry. I apologize. Oh, I'm just showing Drew. What was this play design? <sighs> I don't like this at all. I don't like that play design at all. You're motioning your entire offensive line to the right. <sighs> if he was a more mobile quarterback, then maybe... But I'm not I'm not a fan of this, man. Now you got your uh fullback or tight end trying to get to Woodley. That's not That's not smart. Then again, Jacksonville was awful that year. <laughs> oh man, that was rough. Okay. Jacksonville again. Cool. Once again, he's got his right hand right on the right tackle's chest. Looks like he's using his left hand to defeat this outside hand. I'm guessing he's trying to go toward the outside. Oh, he got his hand back inside, and that he was able to get a nice push because he has power and control because his hands are inside. He's able to push him back, disengage, and now he can go clean up Blaine Gabbert. It was being pressured by, looks like, Brett Kiesel. Very good. 
That's why I always preach getting your hands inside, offense and defensive line. Oh, is this this play? Right over here. No, it's not. That's rough. <laughs> you just... <laughs> you can't really expect a fullback to get... Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I just want to go back to the sack. That was fantastic. You can't do that now. <laughs> the way he ripped him to the ground. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> One thing, jerseys are too tight. He kind of pulled the jersey. That was fantastic. Um, right here. Ooh. You got him and Timmons. I'm not sure how I feel about Brett Kiesel standing up over there, but interesting little look. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What fun. So he kind of gave the right tackle a little push, too. Let me rewind it a little bit. Kind of lagged a little bit. Let me see why he fell. So again, Lamar Woodley's getting his hands right inside. That's how he's able to keep his... Oh, I see. Chris John, this is what I was talking about. Was it in this video? I I recorded this one in the James Harrison video back to back. So confuse, excuse me if I'm mixing it up. It's Steelers pass rushers. Um, but I believe I mentioned Ray Rice. Uh, pretty much causing a sack. This is kind of similar because Chris Johnson is too in the way. He needs to back up a little bit. Because right now this guard is trying to give up ground slowly. He's losing the battle. He's trying to, you know, pop his feet a little bit. But then Chris Johnson kind of gets in the way. He kind of trips over his foot and he ends up on the ground. He loses his footing. Ugh. It's rough. Ooh, Seattle. This might be the last one. Let me check. No. Yes, actually, because I'm not going to show. Oh, there's no playing option for the next one. So, yeah, this will, this will be the last one I'm going to show. Um, Let's see what happens here. Are oh, you just going to go unblocked? I mean, Brett Kiesel. Not Brett Kiesel. Um, Aaron something. I'm sorry. I'm blanking out. Yeah, that's what happened in the last one. But, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I forgot. I, mean, I didn't forget that Lamar Woodley was powerful, but I forgot just how powerful Lamar Woodley was. In this prime, um, yeah, that was that, that was a lot of fun. But anyway, I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.